this podcast is part of the Pull Up a Chair Podcast Network. Let's build community through connection, conversation, and collaboration. This podcast is sponsored by Elever Consulting, editing with a purpose. Check them out at eleverconsulting.com for a free consultation. I'm Sarah. And I'm Scooter. Thanks for pulling up a chair with us. We are not experts on any of these topics, but we are hoping to spark something. Like an idea, a conversation, or even a revelation. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's Let's talk talk about about stuff. stuff. Ready to do something? Something. What are we going to do? We are going to talk about something. And that's all. Now we're going to go. Well, this is Sarah across the table. That's me. And this guy is uh, somebody named Scooby-Doo. What? That's Scooter. But that gets. Now we're going to get pulled. (laughs) We have nothing to do with (laughs) Scooby-Doo. They don't know that. Well, we might. We might. We have a lot of projects we do, and you never know. It's true. You could be Shaggy. Ah! Like, uh, the multiverse does does exist. Yeah. I could be... That was a weird noise. <laughs> well, I was excited. Well, yeah. So, that's us. We were back talking about things, and hopefully somebody's listened. If you are, we love you very much. Um, if you're not, we still love you. Yeah. You probably have better taste. That's true. <laughs> you have better taste than we do. Mm-hmm. That's totally fine. So, um... Uh, right, what, we got to talk about stuff. Yes. Or, wait, what are we doing first? What do you mean? Are we going to talk about what the topic is? Or are we going to start off with our good thing? We've only done this like... 13 over times. Over a dozen times. I know. So, you should you should know the flow by now. I'm trying to give you a little bit of... You would think. A little bit of power. <laughs> Still don't know it. Because I overbear. <laughs> and I was like, hey, let, let her go. No, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, because you usually go into this segue without me. All right, we're going to talk about some good things. There you go. <laughs> good thing. <laughs> yes, good things. Um, so we're going to talk about good things that have happened or are going to happen, just the that are in the pipeline, and that kind of stuff. So What? When did that change? I thought it was just good things that happened in the last time we talked. All right. That's so fine. all of a sudden, you just, <laughs> ooh, a light went on, and you totally now remember <laughs> exactly what we always did. That's not fair. See, I, I was like testing you. Did I pass? I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't really testing you. <laughs> you know what you're doing. You want to go first? You play dumb better than anybody I've ever met in my <gasps> that life. That's not true. I just am ditzy. That's fine. <laughs> uh, mine is really some of the things that are going to happen in the future, but a lot of things have come to fruition over this last week or so when it comes to communication. Like... Um, our partnerships with some of the companies that we work with. Um, and I can, I can announce some of them right now. It's like, we have a very good running relationship, um, human being wise. And, uh, when it comes to our companies with log off brewing, um, they're, they're one, a brewing brewery that lasted, through the pandemic. Yep. Some of them did not, uh, that we were very close with, but those people are still doing well. Uh, so those kind of things, uh, that's our big one to me. That's a big one. Like our relationship with them is, is growing and, and growing in a good way. Not a, not just a, they're going to make beer and work the thing. It's more of like getting to know the people. Yeah. Playing games with them. Yeah. Hanging out with them. They're very nice people. Yeah. So their space is great. Yeah. I mean, We'd still be support them even if there wasn't. Yeah. Because I really, we like them as people. I um, got to, I don't know what yours on yours. I'll cross it out if we get there. Oh, no, because I, I took a peek, so I won't you, say that one. Which one? Cheese Creek. Oh, I didn't put that on there. You didn't? No. What? I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we somehow through doing meetings and stuff like that with, um, the school, the uh, music board with the Intercom High School and stuff like that, having like a 
just an impromptu hangout with some people. Uh, we ran into like our favorite cheesecake maker guy. Yes. Never met him in person. Um, no. What is it called? That was uh, random. Cheesecakes by Jeff. Cheesecake by Cheesecakes by Jeff. So yeah. we just ran into him and. I think we're going to start a decent, like, work-friend relationship with him. Good human being. Yeah. Super fun to talk to. And uh, so that was super cool. Um, I think that I'll stick with that because I want to save some for next time, too. There's a lot going on. I love how you said all that, but you have one thing written on the sheet. It's only one word. That's what's amazing. I put out, I put out on here, Puak X. You didn't even say anything about that. Well, that's what it's all about. <laughs> like... Uh, that's in the future, and this sparks like our pull up a chair expo is a go. Uh, we haven't really announced the date, but we will soon. But it's these are all relationships that when you ask somebody, hey, do you want to be part of this expo? And they go, well, of course. Yeah. Count me in. I think that's been really exciting to see this week. I've get, gotten, I've received, jeez, gotten gets, <laughs> received multiple, like, count us in, we'll be there. Yeah. Yes, that was so fun. I'll do it again. Yeah. You know, and that's really cool to see. Yeah. So Agreed. That's why I wrote that. Agreed. Uh, say my good things. I have three. I have many, but we're, we're narrowed down to three. So we have a couple of family slash friends that have like joined the family business, as they say. So <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for them on that journey. Um, our car is mostly fixed. It's been gone for two months. It's back in front of the house. Still not 100% fixed, but, you know, it's there. It's closer. And it looks gorgeous sitting there. <laughs> Did you just tell the story when you went to go pick it up. Which one? Wait, which story? When you what? and Mariah, they unlocked the car. Unlocked the car. Okay, so, jeez. <laughs> Either she wants me to tell the story or she really did forget. Um, the way she told the story was they went down there to pick it up and they unlocked, did the remote unlock uh, to the car and they went over to walk up to it and they're going, whose car is this? Oh, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even there and I could tell the story. Um, whose car is this? It's been gone that long because yeah. we really have only owned it for, it's been less than a year that we've owned it. Yeah, and it's been gone for two months. Yeah, so... And it a wasn't truly it. damaged. It was. It had to, just to get a wheel repaired, but it was. It's been crazy. So, yeah. Um, and my last thing was that I, could have been a great story. I know. Yeah, I'm not but good I was, at story I was trying to, but I was trying to trigger the thought. And yeah, I forgot. I forgot. It, it was today. I know. <laughs> Listen, it's been a bit crazy day. Today's been like 48 hours jammed into Lord. eight. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, the other good thing, I always have a business thing, but um, business wise, I said. Buy to a company. I'm slowly saying buy to a company so that I can have a little more room to breathe in life because I need to. If, um, I, if I hit a microphone, it's because I'm there's a midge, a little midge run run around here, flying yeah. around here. But that's all. Those are my good things. Oh, there he is. Okay, you have to edit that part out. <laughs> no, <laughs> was it too loud? No, no, it's great. I was like, I think I got him. It's all no? this fruitiness we have around here. Yeah. All right, so what's next? Next, we're going to talk about something real. Advise, Advise me not. not. Oh, yeah, we, we do have a topic um, of today. So what's the topic? We're going to talk about partners and their hobbies. Partners, friends, family, people around you and their hobbies. And, I mean, the idea behind it is... Yeah, we'll get to the, we'll get to the. Well, we're here, so stuff. go ahead. Let's yeah. get. To, it's like, how do you cope? This is a support group for people who are dating somebody or with somebody who has hobbies. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. I'm only kind of kidding. Um, so I am not a hobby oriented person. Just staring right at me, like I, into my soul. I I do things sometimes that I enjoy, but I don't really have hobbies. Oh look, he landed in your beer. Um. I enjoy the gym. I enjoy cooking, but I don't consider either of them hobbies. Scooter is a very hobby-oriented person. And every hobby he's passionate about, and it's like the best thing in the world as it's happening. So how do you support someone like this? I have, I'll, I'll say this. I have two hobbies. Listening to podcasts, and then with, it's football season, watching football while I cook. Breakfast or dinner doesn't matter. That's that's as hobby as I get. I don't know. What do I got? Cooking's a hobby of yours, and you're very passionate about it. Am I? Yeah. 
you, you think you are not, but it's you're just you don't talk about it constantly like I do. But your brain's always thinking about it, like when it comes to food and and something you do different. And oh, this is a recipe, and you're like, I want to change that. And you're thinking about it more than you probably know. Yeah. I think I used to. I, I don't think I've had the time lately because, man, I, I can't even think the last time I baked anything. I mean, on this weekend because my niece's nephew wants cinnamon rolls. But, like, other than that. That was, like, a couple days ago. I know, but before that, it's been. <laughs> it was, like, a week. It's been, no. <laughs> I haven't baked in so long. I think, <clears throat> pardon me, I think uh, there's a standard that you have of you that you are well above average at everything cooking and then some things are just like so spot on so there's there's people that haven't baked their whole life yeah okay you bake at least there's been times when you've been baking two or three times a week that's true uh so that's your that's your benchmark yeah so you i really look at it not i don't say this is true but i have a feeling that you think if you're only baking like once or twice a month, you don't bake very much. That's yeah, not. Okay. That's <laughs> but your benchmark is like two or three times a week. Yes. Other people don't bake at all. They bake like once or twice a year during a holiday. Yeah, I guess that's during true. During one of their holidays. All that's right. pretty Alright, so I'm counting baking. He yeah. talked me into it. Baking's my hobby. I'm not, I didn't talk <laughs> you into kidding. it. I just I see it as your partner going, You have a hobby. Yeah. You just don't consider it a hobby. That's true. All right. So what do you have to say about supporting someone's hobbies? Because I have some things. Oh, me... supporting them? Yeah. Uh, my biggest thing is uh, you don't have to understand it. Yeah. You don't have to understand it. And if it is, if the hobby is not detrimental to somebody's morals or health or something to that effect then support it. Like, listen. Yeah. I mean, go with them. Partner up with them. Or allow them to do it on their own if that's their thing. True. Um, I think that's our biggest thing when it comes to supporting somebody. Because I'm, I'm not a basketball fan. Yeah. But I'll support her watching basketball. I'll, I know how it works. <laughs> I know who's in the finals. I know who's doing, you know. I keep up on it. But I'm not going to sit on the couch and go, woo. For Woo! three, yeah, you like, do it right. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to blast oh, out your ears. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, I look at it that way. I'm like, just support them, and if, if if you can, if they want you to be part of it, just go. Yes, it, it's not a waste of time. It's your, it's somebody you care about. It's your partner. I'm gonna say, as somebody who has, uh, whose partner has passions and hobbies. All the time and 100% invested in every single hobby they have. It can get hard sometimes to listen to the specifics of a hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now we're very much into pedals, but before this it was something and before that it was something. And everything's just as intense when you're with somebody who's like super passionate about life, like everything in life. I don't know if I'm passionate about everything in life. I mean, everything that you choose when I, when to I do. When I focus on something, I want to understand it. Yes. From the inside out. Yes. All the way through. Um, that is true. Yes. And, that, and those are times where I'm just like, you need a group who also feels this way about the things you're interested in. Because I can only absorb so much information. And then my eyes gloss over. And then... Encourage, and I think, and you're very encouraging of that. I was like, I know what I'm just when you're. Is it called ear service? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening to listen. Like, yeah, lip service yeah. is just talk to talk. Like, ear service is just listening to yeah. listen. I don't know. Is that a thing? Probably not. I think we just. I think we coined it. Ear service. <laughs> Let's call it that. Okay. It's probably something completely different. It's probably on OnlyFans uh, or know. something. <laughs> we don't like. Seriously. Don't, don't type, Google it. Don't Google ear <laughs> service online. But I really feel like I'm gonna I'm putting it in there until I find out that it's wrong. Um, but ear service, do listen. You don't have to listen to the details. You don't have to listen to. She's so supportive in that in that realm because. 
my my passions about specific things go in cycles. Yes. I come back to them. Um, then when I come back to them, I'm better at it. Um, it's kind of like game design, you know, like board game design. Um, very passionate about it, like 2018, and we did a lot of stuff, and we're almost there, and published an, our role-playing game, and did all this kind of stuff. And then everything, then I got passionate about something else. Yeah. And then, but I'm coming back to that, because our company needs it, and our company is a board game kind of company, so we're coming back full circle to that. And I've always been a musician. Like, I've always loved... Well, I don't say musician. I love and I'm very passionate about writing music and playing music. Um, so, I grew up that way. So, I was very passionate at one time, and then I'm cycling back to it. Um, the, I think the biggest... When you have a passion that you focus on and when you get a little older, it's a midlife crisis. Yes. Is what it looks like. Yes. And I've never, I don't know if I've said this on this podcast, but um, I've said it to many people. I've been having a midlife crisis since I was like 20. (laughs) Like, that's just who I am. Like, I go in cycles, like, I'm going to do this and be the best at it. And then I'm going to move on to something else. And I'm okay with that. Um, And finding a partner that's okay with that is not easy. If you have a very strong drive that... Even if it becomes your source of income, for some reason, they still call it a hobby. Yeah. And that, to me, that's not okay. Makes right? sense, yeah. Like, we can talk about that here in a minute, but, because then I'll just keep talking, because I, I, <laughs> yeah. I have some examples, but. Oh, what are they? No, this is not my, just my <laughs> podcast. You're just going to sit there and. I was like, mm-hmm. You have yes. stuff written down. Well, you, That's her you, ear service. You kind of, <laughs> I feel like you hit all the things. So I was just going to say, have patience because, again, so many words. So many words, so many things, so many events. Um, but I strongly encourage to go do these things outside of the house. Go find a group to go chit-chat about guitars and pedals and jiu-jitsu and board game creation and board games in general. Not here. Not here. There's so many people in the world who also love these things. Those are my three. Four. I mean, what did you say? There was three of four? Pedals, guitars, board game design, jiu-jitsu. I feel like pedals and guitars. They're not the moved. same. They're, they're not. They're not the same. You're right. Do you want me to get No. I'm not. We're not getting. No. It's where nope. the high impedance nope. is a good thing. Nope. And, okay. So, yeah, it's a relationship between guitars and pedals. That makes sense. <laughs> Um, <laughs> because for you, they were different hobbies at different times. That is true. You you were into guitars, and they ever. Here's the other funny thing about Scooter is every time he buys something, it is the best, and this is it, and he never has to get another one again. No matter what he's in, this is the best gi. I don't ever have to get another one until the next day he sees another one. And he's like, "This is the best one. I don't have to do one after this." Well, they, and it is the same for every. This is the best board game. I just got on Kickstarter. Don't have to get another one. <laughs> this is the best microphone. I don't have to ever get another one. I think I think I'm I think I'm at a plateau with uh, all these three. But my three, let's just put guitars and pedals into one. Music. Let's just put music. Playing music. It's cathartic to me. And I also come from IT. So, and I come from digital electronics. Um, so it's really nice to delve into circuitry. And stuff for pedals to understand them. So that's that's kind of feeds my yin and yang when it comes to music creativity and, hey, this is science. Uh, but my three, yeah, that's one. I still have a strong passion for jiu-jitsu, mm-hmm. even though I haven't been there in a year. Yeah. Um, I still watch videos, and I'm still, like, I'm totally out of shape. Uh, but still try and keep in contact with people that are um, amazing human beings uh, that are trainers. And... And then also um, board games. Board game design just thrills me to no end. Uh, sometimes I love a game and I play it once and I'm going to the next one. That's uh, that's who I am. Yeah. Because I understand the mechanics. It's super fun. I can see how people could love it. Next. Yeah. Thank you, next. But what I was getting, what I wanted to kind of segue into is like, because there's a certain human being who kind of uh, put this out here. They, I don't know if they, this was a, a listener's... Suggestion. Suggestion. And it was Keith. Uh, because, and I can see where he's coming from, because because some people do things as a hobby, 
most people do certain things as a hobby doesn't mean it's a hobby for your partner. Right. It could be their passion, their drive. It, they, they might want to do this forever and for a living. True. So at what time does this hobby, do, you, do people feel this hobby is not a hobby anymore? This is what I do for a living. It's my passion. Like, I don't think... But why does why does that phrase have such a negative connotation to say that your hobby know. is your, your my hobby is my job is my my hobby is my passion and I've turned it into my job. Why is that a negative thing? I well look at it this way, it's like I come from a generation to where, hey, I'm gonna be a rock star. Yeah. And they're like, That's a cool hobby. Playing guitar is a really cool hobby. And I was like, did you tell that to Clapton? Did, I mean, they they were told that. Hendrix was probably told that. You know, like, um, think about the list of guitarists out there. There was like, their parents was like, oh, that's a really cool hobby. Yeah. Um, that's, I think, where I'm trying to find it. Like, drawing and creating comic books. Cool hobby. It's like, no. I feel like it, people consider it a hobby until you can make a living from it. Yeah, but where's that break? I mean, where's that break off? Um, and I think it's one of those things of... Because we were talking about uh, some people, like, switching. Like, the people that are joining the quote-unquote... Family business. Family business. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a family business, but it's what a lot of people in our family and extended family is doing yeah, is what Sarah do does for a living and um, what Rebecca now does for a living and some other people do it part time and then but the people that do stuff part time because they have something to fall back on they're always going to fall back on it that's always been my my mantra if you have something to fall back on you'll fall back on it because that's comfortable it's easy it depends on the person then uh, why would <laughs> Then why would the new operating system for oh, iOS <laughs> allow you for iMessage to delete or <laughs> unsend a message? Because, because you're going because people are going back, <laughs> going you up, <laughs> how you been? And this is an ex they haven't talked to in two years because it's it's just safe, it's normal. We tried something else and we're gonna fall back on something. Mm. I did, again, I I did what I'm doing part-time and work for the state. When yeah. The state is the most stable thing you could ever fall back on. And I took the leap and did something else. I think I think it's nice. I think when you're in a comfortable place, it is good to do something. It gives you the chance to do something that's scary. I, I agree. So you could, if you have something to fall back on, but it doesn't mean that you're going to. Like, even for the people... We'll get back to hobbies. Even for the, the, the artists and stuff, it is nice to have a job that you pays your bills until you what you love to do can pay your bills. Because what happens when you get to the point when it never does? Then that's, that's true. Then it's always a hobby. It is. I guess it. I mean, but I think it comes, comes down to do you have a partner that supports your hobby? And I think that's where a lot of hobbies stay hobbies. Yeah. I think that's a big that's that's my thought is I think a lot of hobbies for people stay hobbies because their partner doesn't really support their hobby as a real job yeah and we can talk about musicians um, we can talk about um, like artists that you know are drawing artists sculptors yeah, yeah. all those types of things creators let's just call and then a big broad brush but creators of something yet on a daily basis what helps us process the day as human beings and, and is cathartic. You listen to podcasts, music, watch movies. I listen to music, watch shows, you know, look at, read comic books, uh, do those types of things. So if we didn't, if, the, if these people didn't have partners to allow them to make their hobby into a career and create these things, Where's our release as human beings? Right. We lose that. And then we just have, we're all falling back on the mundane yeah. nine to five or whatever, eight to five, Monday through Friday. I don't even know if that's I, a thing anymore. I don't think I've ever understood people who don't support someone's hobby because it's like, so you want them to have zero outlet because there are these people who are just like, no, I want you to spend every waking moment with me and this is what we're going to do. Oh, no, and it's thanks. like, right. Again, they were, they were a person before you guys got together. Um, so, and they had these things they wanted to do, even if it's something new and you're like, well, this is weird. Why would you want to do that now? Who cares? 
I mean, if they're not hur- harming themselves or others, why can't they well, try something yeah, different? And I think that's was we're like if it's not morally wrong and it's not a detriment to your relationship, right? You know, it's like. I mean, I don't. Sound, I want to go beat up puppies. That's my new hobby. No, I was true. like, no, you need, you need help. Yes. <laughs> like, go see a therapist, and we're over. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, we're done. Yes. Uh, but no, I was like. <laughs> but I also think it's it's one of those things too where you do have to pay attention because I like in my siblings I can see it because. Of course, they're my siblings. We do this thing where we gain a hobby to avoid everything else. That's very true. And and if you're with somebody who's like, I want to support your hobby, but I also want you to understand that you're just hiding from what's going on. That's that's also something to look out for. So it's not like for that. I feel like for that viewpoint, it's not so much as like I don't support what you do as much as. You, we need to have a discussion because I can see that something's not okay and you're just throwing yourself into different things every other week because you don't want to cope with what's so, actually happening. like, finding a hobby to um, cope with your trauma? Right. Which, I mean, again, it's one of those things where, like, it could be, it could be a good thing that you're, you found an outlet. Yeah. But it's also, like, are you avoiding people and gaining a hobby so that you don't have to deal with anything? Yeah, is your hobby an excuse right, to not deal with the real issue? Yes. And I think that's where that becomes that's where it becomes damaging. That's where yeah. your, your partner should step in. Yeah. That's, that's your partner's, that's our job, right? It's like support you all the way until you're like, okay, yeah. you're not a good rapper. Right. <laughs> You never have been, and it was super fun. <laughs> keep doing it, but you got to keep your job because nobody's signing you. Nobody wants to listen to your stuff. But okay, there's a good question. At what again? At what point though do oh, you step I know. in? Like, at what point are you like, listen? It's been a minute since we've been doing this. What are you? And you and you want it to be like this is my thing. This is my job. This is what I'm going to do, but at what point do you have to step in and be like, listen, it's been a minute and uh, it's just not happening. I don't know. I mean, I think that would, it shouldn't, I feel like that should be a conversation. Yeah. Like on an ongoing base, basis. Like, I mean, I have a company right now that is suffering. Um, but there was a time where we were in the black and doing okay. Like, Things were going well. Things were on the up and up, yeah. and and it took a huge dip. And we're just trying to get out of that the mucky muck, <laughs> as Jack uh, Jack Black would say. Oh, jeez. Uh, Tenacious D, shout out. <laughs> uh, but no, realistically, just trying to get out of it. It's and when is enough enough? Right. When is enough enough? That's right. Yeah. Uh, to where you're just like, hey, that we did, we had a good run. Right. But I also look at it this way. I think this is this is my my thought process on it. Like, was this hobby, did you start this as a company or a business or something because it's a passion of yours? Or is it because you have bigger plans for what you're doing? Like, am I are we doing it to make money? Or are we doing it for community and other people? And because there's been some times in the past where time to tabletop itself, I'm going, hey, that was a good run, but dang, like, is this too much? Yeah. I mean, that right around, I think it was 2020, right when everything, right at the end of 2020, I was like, we went from heroes to zeros, <laughs> you know? Yeah. We, we really did in a matter of 12 months. Yeah. And so. But what's the driving force behind that company or your passion? What's the driving force behind the hobby? Is it just for your own outlet? That's great. But if it's just for your own outlet and you're not making money at it, well, then you need to keep your your normal job. You need to have that stable job. Yeah, you got to have that normal job. Yeah. I mean, you got to have or something else that you do. Yeah. You have to wait for the table to turn to where what you like to do becomes what you're able to do because it can support you yeah, if that's, that's what you choose otherwise just have a hobby to have a hobby seriously yeah because have a hobby to have a hobby people should be doing something you just yeah. go into work and coming i mean i guess if watching tv is your hobby that could be a thing i that's, guess i think i mean mm-mm. no it can be i i don't i don't think just watching tv 
is a good hobby. I understand. I understand. We think it's not a good hobby, but it doesn't make it not a hobby. But I think at uh, what point you just catch potato? Well, yeah, it's, <laughs> it becomes instead of being cathartic, it becomes a drain of your spirit after yeah. a while. Especially if you're not watching it with your partner, right? And I mean, because definitely watching shows is a hobby of ours. Yeah, definitely. Like unwind. Yeah, but it's we watch them together, and then some. Some we don't because Sarah, the boys. Like, Sarah watches everything. Yes. I like the boys. Ugh. Um, so, but again, if it's something to keep you to where you're talking to people and entertaining yeah. and like, hey, this is a conversation now and like that was exciting or you're using it for inspiration for music or it gets you pumped up to go to work the next day because... You go to work and you talk about Stranger Things. Right. Like, people do that. Yeah. We know that. I was yes. like, we all had... I mean, I had jobs where you go and see the same people every day for years yeah. on end. And if you're behind on a show, it's hard to show up on, uh, to work that yes. day. So you got to catch up. So you go have a conversation with human beings. Yeah. And I think that's our big thing. Um, is your passion creating more conversation with... Well, passion or hobby, creating more conversations with other people that you care about, or are they making you recluse? Like, yeah, like you're you're pulling away from society, right? To do a hobby, I think that's where the health part goes away. It's concerning, yeah. Like video gaming, I think is amazing. Yeah, but some people they just pull away, and then you don't see them yes. for six months, and they come back like not doing well. Yes. I was like, well, you've been playing Elden Ring for six months. <laughs> <laughs> you know. In a basement. So let me ask, do you have any hobbies that you haven't pursued yet that you want to? Um, probably. Specific? No. I was like You don't want to tell me? No, it's not about not wanting to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what they are yet. No. It's more of that. Uh I don't know if it'd be a hobby, but I uh, maybe an extension of some of the hobbies that I do. I do have, I don't, this is not news, I don't think to you or anything, but I do want to go um, find a couple college courses and stuff like that just to take them, not to get any other degree or anything, to refresh my electronic, my board building and, and those types of things for circuitry. What? I've never heard this. Yeah, you've heard it a few times <laughs> over this last couple of years. Um, I've also said over the last, I think it was five, six years ago, I talked to I was like, I want to go back and at least take calculus again yeah. and, and refresh it because I feel like I've forgotten all about it. So your hobby is going to be community college. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I like learning. I like knowledge. I like to learn new things um, and or expand on the things that I already know. That's my biggest hobby yeah if i don't know something about something i was like i want to do this yeah and try it so whether it becomes i mean i love my company i love time tabletop i love what we're starting to do with pull up a chair foundation uh, i'm really feeling like at least there's some light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train this time yeah I felt like the light at the end of the tunnel last time was shelter in place yeah <laughs> i was like oh look a light uh True, true. Okay, I've been talking too much. So, what about you? Let's. Th I think that's a big question for you, because I've been asking this since we met. What oh. you're into? Yeah. And you, it's hard, so hard for you to tell me what you're into. So, please tell me what you feel you're into, and then I'll tell you what I feel you're into. I don't wait. What? What's the question? There is no question. All right. Are you asking me what I just asked you? Like, do I have any hobbies that I want to pursue coming yes. up? Okay. I mean, I said it in a much more convoluted, You're distracting. You're so much, like, deeper. I'm like, I, what? Well, you know, I've been watching certain, like, TED Talks. And, no, I don't even oh. watch those anymore. So I think <laughs> this talk, year yeah. I would like to attempt to get our tower garden back up and running. Oh, and yes. Veggies and fruits. Yeah. And make that a thing. Because we don't really have a yard. We have a patio. But we do have a hydroponic um, tower garden. And that was so fun. I know. So I want to get that back up. I've been talking to my friend Kelsey about it. And hers is already up and going. And she's got veggies already. Well, she's, Kelsey's up. When it comes to that kind she's of stuff, a she's a beast. Well, yeah. When it comes to, like, healthy 
like knowing what to do. Yes. Like she's. I love how when she set hers up, she's like she didn't even like clean it down. She didn't do any of that stuff. She's like, nope, it's dirty. It just has dirt all over just it. Turn it on. Put the plants in, and we're good to go. I was well, like, they, oh. they grow in dirt. I know. Uh, we're so well, dumb. It's hydroponics. We're so weird. It doesn't grow in dirt. I know, but <laughs> those plants grow in dirt normally. Yes. So I think that's one of the things I want to do. I'm. Again, I want to get back. I lost my gym routine, and I, oh. I kind of want to make gym my hobby. Same. Yeah. Uh, we're, I've been... Thank you to all the people that have I haven't seen in a year and run into and chat with every once in a while. I'm coming back. Yeah. Um, so um, I was like... I, like, religiously went to Orange Theory for a very really long time, and I'm deciding if I'm canceling it. Um <gasps> I know. Hopefully none of your friends from there listen to I this. Don't, I don't have any friends um, from that there. That is not from there. From there. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, I've been going for, what, six years? Seven years? No. Five years? I don't know. It's been a minute. It's been years. But um, I, it's just not as, I'm not motivating myself enough to go as I used to. And so I really, what I really want to find around this area is like a dance class or like pole dancing or salsa lessons or like I want to do something that's not inside the house because I feel like I need something to be like oh every Tuesday I go do this yeah because I miss that, that. like I'm, I miss my kickboxing class because I knew where I was going I knew who I was going to see it was a thing Same. I got to leave the house and go do I it and ever since that stopped I'm just like I don't have a thing right now I have work and that's it right now <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to find a new thing I'm about to go on Groupon and just start buying Groupons and just test a bunch of things out to oh, some sweet. sticks. Like yeah. it depends on who you, who you're taking with you because it's a group. You have to buy more than one. No, you don't. I never bought stuff on Groupon. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. But I think it wasn't that where the name came from. Like Groupon, you go as a group and you save money. <laughs> I don't know, but or that's now not is it how just it a is. thing? Yeah, you, you just, just buy one. Yeah, and there's this really oh, cool weird. app. It's called I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, is the app? it's called I don't know. No, it's called Mind Body, and it's like if you go in there and you put in like where you live, it'll tell you the the, the gyms and like exercise oh. things around you, and you can either like do like one time classes and they'll be like, oh, this place has kickboxing, this place has boxing, this place has whatever. And then you could just sign up for, like, a one-time class. But it's all over it. Like, when I'm in Visalia, I'll do it. And like, oh, this person has, like, CrossFit's open and it's 20 bucks. And so oh, you just sign sweet. up. that's sweet. Yeah. I need to find my thing again. I don't have anything right now. You do. You just don't know it. Oh, yeah. What is my thing? I, I'm not telling you what your thing is. That's No, that's you said, weird. you said I, you were going to ask me and then you were going to tell me what you think it is. What I feel. It. Yeah. 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 I don't want, want to tell you what your thing is, <laughs> but what I see, we we talk about somebody that's truly supportive of other people. One of your, I feel like one of your main hobbies in your life is helping other people find something. That's pretty good. Um, and when I say something, I mean anything. Like when somebody's looking for a new job, oh, let me help with that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about, you know, taking a trip to, you know, Puerto Vallarta. And they're like, oh, she goes, oh, I'll, I'll look that up for you. Oh, here's some deals. Here's this thing. That's true. Um, seriously, like, when she's doing something and she goes, oh, do you know who'd really like this? So-and-so. I'm going to reach out to them. I'm like, that's, to me, that's, a lot of people don't do that. Mm. I mean... When was the last time, time somebody called you and said, hey, Sarah, I, this is really cool. I've been doing this. I think you would like it. That's a good point. Not very often. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a passion of yours. That is a drive of yours. That is your driving hobby. It's very true. And I waited to say it because I was like, this is why you, I feel like I'm striving to be a better person. Because of you, because of those things, because your hobby is really trying to go, hey, this person likes this. I found this thing. Let's connect those things. And I'm similar on a different way, right? I don't do that. Yep. Um, but I'm more about, hey, let's get people together. 
maybe they'll like something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit more... You're a people gatherer. I'm scattered all over, but you're very focused about that, and you're very, very good at it. I mean, look at the people around you. Think about how many phone calls you get a day. A lot. Okay. <laughs> that are not work. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There still could be work, but they're not... The conversation's not, like, client. Yeah. Like, a client's like, not calling Like, hey, I need you. help with this. Or, hey, I have a question about this. Yeah, it's yeah. somebody, a peer. Yeah. One of your peers okay. um, calls for your type of support. Right. And, yes, they're asking for logistic support, but they're also needing that friendly voice on the other side. Because they could ask somebody else. That's true. But they choose you. Yeah. Because you got them where they're at. So, I see that. That's my that was my thought on what your true like passion hobby is. Oh. So that's very nice. Well, it's just way it, the way it is. <laughs> and I don't know if there's anybody that knows if anybody knows Sarah, they know this about this person. Yeah. Whether they want to admit it or not, whether they even like her or not, they still call her <laughs> for those reasons. Like we're not you know, they're not chummy. You have people in your life, and I'm not, there's no names. Yeah, but but they still call you daily. It's true for yeah. that reason, because yeah, yeah. they know you're a friendly voice on the other side that's truly going to be listening to what the, you're giving more than just ear service. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's why you don't get any ear service. I'm just kidding. I get tons. I know. Yours is like my ears are on, but I'm not listening. But keep going, dude. Ooh. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm totally okay with that because I don't want you to understand all the craziness that I go through. Are you stopping your pen? Yeah, I am. I even got a non-clicky pen this time, <laughs> and I'm still making. It. I have, I have really bad anxiety all the time. Well, I feel like we've discussed this topic into in, the ground. You got anything depth. else? You no. got anything else on this partners and the hobbies? I don't want. I don't want to miss anything um, because I feel like some people need. I mean, whatever we're saying, I feel like some people might need to hear that it's okay to have a hobby that's just a hobby. Yes. And it's also okay to have your hobby be your passion so that, that can become what you do for a living. Yes. And having a partner that understands that both of those aspects of your life. And if you and if you are the partner who has right. somebody who has a hobby, understand that the world doesn't revolve around you. And they're allowed to take a couple hours to themselves and do whatever the heck they want and have their own hobby. And that's okay. And that doesn't mean that they love you or don't like you. I mean, love you less or don't like you. It has nothing to do with you. So go I, find your own hobby and then do your own hobby separately and come back together and talk about it. And, and supporting that other person's hobby, sometimes it's just giving them a ride to wherever they're going. Yes. Like, support that. Yes. That's a big part. Like, if somebody wants to go do something, go drop them off. That's a good support. Yes, I agree. So, I don't know, you're pointing at something. It was Freak a bitch. Oh, you know what I was oh. going to say, too? This is the one thing um, I noticed you didn't bring up about hobbies is um, a budget. A budget when it comes to hobbies. Dude, that's a whole... That, we could do a whole one. I'll, other... just, I'll just say that. Establish a budget when it comes to your hobby. I do not know how to do that. I know. Okay. I'm, I'm talking right at you. I'm working on it. <laughs> I am selling stuff. Establish a to support budget some for of my hobby, hobby right now. The end. I just sold like a <laughs> decently expensive guitar so that I could buy two other little guitars. Can, yes. Yeah. To keep the hobby going. Yeah, I mean, but that that was self-sustaining, which is fine. But to get there was not. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with that totally. Um, doesn't mean I do it. No. Nah. But if your partner is like, show up. Yeah. I mean, even if even if it's not something you're into, but they want to show you it. Yes. Show up. Yeah. And if you don't like it, cool. And the other person that's on the other end should be like, okay, cool. It's not your thing. Yes. I'm going to keep doing it. And I know we're not at the shout out yet, but I'm going to shout out my brother because he's had more hobbies than you. And man, he's, he's like you. He throws himself into his hobbies. My brother has oh, been I know. the more. I don't think I've known anybody who's been in more societies <laughs> than my brother. Went from succulents <laughs> to bowling, beer, beer societies. Beer brewing. Yeah, he now he's brewing beer right now, which yes. is, I'm super excited about because 
I don't have the patience. Yes. I've done it once in my but, life. But to me, it's like good for you for finding things that you enjoy. Or not even just find, but looking for them. Yeah. I think that's a the big part. If you haven't found a hobby, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Like if you're still searching for a hobby that sticks, that's totally okay. Yeah. That could be your hobby. Seriously. Again, keep, group on. Keep learning. Yeah. Don't stop learning. Yep. I think that's where hobbies come from, too. I agree. All right. All right. You ready for this? Shout out! Shout out! Woo! Oh, wow, wow. No, no segue or nothing. Just go oh. right into it. Okay, we're into shout outs. Sorry, did you want a segue? No. I don't even know did how to do it. Did you want a scooter? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> You're not saying any words. You're just staring at me now. It's yeah, weird. like... I want to laugh, but then it gives gives clout to your joke. That was and I don't, funny. I don't want to do that. That was funny. Oh, such a groaner. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Roar, 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 roar. All right, what's your shout out? Well, I'm going first all all night. All right. Not, I went first before. Oh, I don't remember. Me either. Actually, it was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, big shout out. Um, there's some cool things going down um, on Del Paso Boulevard. Um, it's very cool to see uh, a gentleman named Mason take over uh, Uptown Grounds. So I'm very excited about that. Big shout out to Uptown Grounds down there on Del Paso Boulevard in the Blue Block District there. Uh, so stay tuned for that because there's some cool stuff going to be going down there. Like we're even they have a full like food menu now. They're looking at bringing in like open mic night and all this kind of stuff so it's going to be kind of cool and it's a it's a cool area that needs stuff like that yeah okay uh so in in the midst of us kind of doing those things because our our little event center that we have is right next door um i have to give also a shout out uh to my daughters that are living here um elisa mariah uh i went down there to cover a shift because Valerie was out of town. Um, so I went down there and I was like, hey, I just asked the girls before I left. I was like, hey, do you want to come with me? I always offer it and I always get a no. Um, but I always offer, right? Both of them said, yeah. And they hurried up and got ready and we went down. I was like, holy cow. Um, I didn't want to go down there. Sometimes I get like anxiety about those things. Yeah. Um, but going down there with those two and playing card games, playing pool, you know, having a smoothie, you know, that kind of stuff really made it super enjoyable um, and made it more of a, uh, what is it? When you reboot, it's more of a recharge, recharging. It was more of a recharging session than it was a draining yeah. three hours down there, which is super cool. Um, they did that. I mean, their energy yeah. together as sisters really gave me that energy to recharge. Nice. So that's my shout out for this week. Very good. Crazy. Cause my shout out is also the kids. So both are cheated. I know our two youngest are both in summer school and they have survived their first week of summer school. So shout out to them because, uh, who wants to do summer school, uh, in the summer, obviously. I mean, who wants to school in the summer? Nobody. So one of them has to, one of them chooses to anyways, Shout out to them for, um, you know, doing it. Shout out to Elise also for keeping her personal assistant job for the last two weeks. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> she's been getting up on time and going to work and doing what she's supposed to do. And that's awesome. You know? Because sometimes it's hard out there. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard. It's hot. Oh, oh my gosh. You can't not work because it's hot. Yeah. It's what? It's 102. You'll be okay. You, you have lost for like five seconds. I'm telling you. Okay. And then last shout out is, so me and Mariah have been going to Planet Fitness for like two weeks now, consistently. Is this a shout out or are you just going to make fun of people? That was my shout out. And uh, she's my gym buddy. And so I have to shout her out and say, thank you for going with me and letting me be your trainer. And, you know, just listen to everything I say. We are so sore today. I don't know what the heck we did. Two days. We took today off because we woke up and both thought, "How do we walk? Like our whole body hurts." <laughs> so we'll take it. We'll go back tomorrow. <laughs> oh. oh, but yeah, shout out to those guys. Yeah, if you're if you're into exercise at all, like we know what sore is, and 
where you don't get out of bed. You just kind of slide yes. out of bed and just like slither to where you can somehow find a way to stand up. Yes. And yeah, that's I, I saw that in Mariah's spirit. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Not in her body movement. Her whole spirit was like, my spirit hurts. The whole day, I'm like, why? Why are you laying down? She's like, I tried to sit up. It's not happening. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, that's enjoyable. Yeah. Well, awesome. I. Hopefully, we. I mean, again, we want to open this up to anybody who has any questions, concerns, or comments. Yeah. Um. Or anything you want to talk about, because we talk about everything. Yeah, we'll talk about, and we are an open book. Like, it does sound like sometimes we're just given fluff, uh, but um, as we keep doing these things, you'll get to know that we will just tell you the real. Um, we know we're not really holding back. I just think no. we haven't gotten to the point where um, a topic that somebody wants us to talk about is super controversial. Well, dun dun dun. <sighs> I think everything can be controversial, but <laughs> but I, I I'm okay with talking about whatever. Yeah. Um, because I'm one of those people's like, if you get to know me, you'll know what I'm all about. I'm very opinionated. Yeah. Um, I just know what works for me. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean my opinions are correct because they're opinions and they're not fact. Yeah. Obviously, they're opinions. They're opinions. So if I yeah. have those opinions, let's go for it. Yeah. I know someone wants to talk about the trial but that's over and I don't really care well there'll be another one <laughs> next I, I think it'd be really cool to talk about some other like the topic of what that type of thing going on in our society serves right I think that would be cool and I don't know how to pinpoint that topic yeah uh, to pinpoint what something like because that's those kind of things happen all the time right we want to call them distractions or a, a turning point or it was like no 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 they're there's something that society needs yeah. for some reason. And I don't know what it is. And I think that would be kind of a cool topic to talk about. But, that, but I digress. I yes. can talk about those things. We talk about those things all the time. Uh, so we can might get into that. I, can I throw one more good thing? I know, oh, it's, please. I know I'm in the wrong order. So That's fine. That's what you do. We purchased our tickets to go to um, a live show in September in Atlanta. And our friends, Willie and V, are going to go with us. And I'm so excited. You should, you should see the... If you could see the glow of her face right now. So excited. Not just because we're going to the live show, but also because William B. just moved and we get to go hang out with them in their new location. And I'm very excited about yeah. that. Yeah. She's she's a diehard podcast fan of a certain show, PK and DK. Huge fan. She has been for years. Like, this is way before me. This is like before, almost before children. Yeah. Uh, but not that far. they're having a thing in Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I just get on the flight. No, it's go. in Atlanta. And I've always it's wanted in Atlanta. to Atlanta. Yeah. And it's in Atlanta. And our really good friends just moved down to that area from the Northwest. So the Pacific Northwest. So yes. we get to go down there and see them. Like, they, they haven't even been there a year. Double exciting. Yeah. It hasn't even been like two months. Well, like they just moved. We have, we, I'm just thinking we haven't seen them for about a year. and uh, I guess that's true. Has it been a year? Anyways, like it. Anywho, I'm excited about seeing them. Oh yeah, that's yeah. A, let's just say that's a shout out too. That's a okay. shout out. That's not just a good thing. That's a that's a shout Both. out to to them saying yeah, we'll meet you there yeah. kind of thing. So excited. So super cool. All right. Until next time. Same bat time. That, that cannot be our sign off. Same bat channel. You can't do that. Bye. You did it two times in a row. Well, I added something. No, you didn't. Bye. Bye. And I'm B. And we are from the It's Working podcast where we take deep dives into mental health, breaking stigmas, and starting those conversations. Find us on your favorite podcast directory.